Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm trying something different. In fact, I'm kind of playing around with a few new series ideas for Level Up Tutorials, this being one of them. Now, this series is basically, you may not need a dependency, and it's going to be used to highlight some packages and some projects that you probably don't need to use in 2022. Now, I'm starting off with the Clipboard API. Now, Maybe you were like me and didn't realize how easy the Clipboard API is or just how well supported it is. But I did some digging on, on uh, NPM and found something a little startling. React Copy to Clipboard has 793,000 weekly downloads. Not only that, but I found other ones like use Clipboard API and there was over 47 pages of NPM packages using the word Clipboard in them. Now, granted, many of those are probably doing something more intricate than just copying to the Clipboard, but believe it or not, copying to the Clipboard is really not that intense. Now, I do want to say very clearly, nothing against these, anyone who's put out any of these packages or used these packages. I just want to call attention to the fact that this very well may be easier than you're expecting. So copy to Clipboard, React copy to Clipboard. Why, 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 what's even up with this package? If you go into this package, you can see that there's really not a whole ton to it. Keep in mind, seven hundred thousand dollars or seven hundred thousand downloads for what is essentially i mean look at this 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 repo has has a uh an example folder a test folder webpack configuration for what for a index file that links to another file and another file that just imports copy to clipboard which i looked and has millions of downloads a month. Copy to clipboard, millions of downloads a month. And copy to clipboard itself is only 114 lines of code, but still those 114 lines of code are mostly checking to see if IE 11 exists or having additional browser compatibility. Cause look at this thing. It's really nothing inside of here. You're, you're almost essentially running just this copy one with some options. Now, do you need options in a copy and paste? I would imagine that 99% of the time, what you're doing with this thing is you have some input text or some text somewhere you click the copy button and it says copied when you're done, right? That's how I'm using it. I'm going to show you some code that I wrote too here. Um, but I just thought this to be a little bit shocking, right? So, uh, I, I wouldn't, I pulled up the, let's see, the can I use for the clipboard API and it's mostly green. Now there's some red in here, which is for Opera Mini, who cares? And UC browser for Android also, who cares? Um, Opera Mini, maybe care a little bit more about that one, but still, if you have a copy and paste input on mobile web, Opera Mini, yeah, I don't know. You, It's probably not too hard to write some minor compatibility there. If you have Opera Mini users, most people probably don't, right? So you have this feature that's supported in just about every single browser, all the way even back to IE 11 and IE whatever. Don't worry too much about these. I don't even think about IE. So it does not support the clipboard event constructor, okay? Like, d don't worry about the compatibility of these two because it's not exactly what's important. What's important is that the copy and paste functionality that you're looking for has been available in just about every single major browser for a long time. And if you even wanted to check out the MDN docs, look at this. Here is the copy and paste. Here's what is supported and here's what's not supported. This even says Opera Android. So Opera Mini must be something different there. I, I don't know too much about it. I'm sorry. Either way, navigator.clipboard is the thing that we're talking about. And look, the only thing that's not supported is IE 11. So do you need to add a dependency to your project to do the clipboard? You might be thinking, I don't know if I want to learn this API or memorize something new. I can just import a package and do it. But this functionality is for you by default in the browser in just about as many, like it's actually less lines of code to use copy and paste in the browser than it is to import the dependency and then use it because importing and then using it is two lines of code. We're just using it as one line of code. And so that API is like this lowercase n navigate navigator. Oh my God. I have to be able to spell navigator dot clipboard dot, and then it's right text. Okay. 
this is what the function looks like. Now, if you try to do this in your console, it's going to give you guff. You can see it returns a promise. I'm pretty sure this is a security thing. That's why it says it doesn't work. But we use this in production right now in a Svelte component. And as you can see here, navigator.clipboard, write text have some text in there, and we're just waiting on a promise to finish. If it is, we have a value that's just triggered a Boolean state value that toggles a little bit of an animation on here. And then after like a little bit of time here, a second or so, a second and a half, that uh, disappears. So is, is this really all it is? Navigator.clipboard.write text? Is that all it is? Yes, <laughs> that's all it is. And if, if you don't have to support older, like unused browsers and like honestly who's supporting i11 in 2022 right uh navigator.clipboard.write text that's it it's as easy as peasy as that again we're not having to import a package and we're certainly not having to import a package that imports another package that has a list of dependencies and relies on react and relies on angular or jquery or who knows what right all this relies on is the browser api and it exists if you want to check to see if this thing exists before you do it, oh wait, it's also easy. If navigator question mark dot clipboard dot question mark dot write text, okay? Uh, there we go. Then you can check to see if it's supported. Add a nice little message here saying, "Oops, sorry, oopsies, things not supported." Right? Either way, that's it. So if you've never used the navigator.clipboard.writeText to copy and paste something, you may not have been aware that it was this easy. And again, that's 2 million downloads on that copy to text library. That gives me the heebie-jeebies as well as 700,000 downloads for a React library to do this. So if you are interested in copying something to the keyboard, next time just do navigator.clipboard.writeText. Now, if you liked this idea for a video and you want to see more of these, please let me know. I have a lot of ideas for different libraries, different bits of functionality that are easier than you might expect to do in the DOM and certainly will allow you to do so without having to install a third party library that opens yourself up to all kinds of things. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.